This is a top loaded antenna because it has the coil on the top of the antenna here. Where you would not want to put this antenna is let's say if you have a pickup truck and you wanted to mount an antenna in the bed of your truck. Well, you would not want to use a magnet. Like if you put this magnet on the bed rail of your truck right behind your metal cab, that would just create huge reflection issues. So just picture this mounted onto a, uh, a pickup bed and then that flat cab right up next to it. When the antenna is trying to transmit, the signals are just going to hit that cab and reflect right off. That would not be in an ideal scenario. Using that same example, if you were going to mount in the back of a pickup bed, you'd want to use some kind of angled mount, you know, something similar to this, maybe something that didn't have this foot on it, right? You would mount it to the back of the bed and then you would thread in a top loaded antenna because the coil of this antenna would then, you know, go over the top of the, you know, clear the roof. I like to try to clear the roof of any antenna. I like half of the antenna at least clearing the roof um, of your vehicle. That's ideal for these fiberglass antenna installations. But anyway, then that coil would be up and as you're transmitting, right, it would transmit up and over the top of the cab and you wouldn't have reflection issues like that. When you choose your antenna, it's really critical that you get the right one so you can get maximum range. You're not getting uh, reflection uh, from off your, you're not getting signal reflection off the body of your vehicle.